Hello, welcome back to Proton Who Plays Mario Maker 2. It's been a little while since done one of these. Uh, this episode's actually going to be a bit of a weird one because these are all levels that I streamed out already. In fact, all of this is gameplay from when I streamed this out on Twitch. Uh, like, it must have been like two weeks ago at this point. Uh, I just been mean to put an archive up of it. But I am going to replay this first one first because the stream broke during it. And so I'd rather just have like a clean copy of it so we can, you know, everyone can see how nice this level is because I quite liked it. Uh, it's Five Holes for Superflower by Joe Doll. The next two levels, I think, are also by them. I'm, I don't remember, it was a couple of weeks ago. This is like a kind of golf one, which is kind of cool. I think I'm going to have to change my buttons right off the bat. Let's see. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, so the way this works is this power up is from Super Mario Land. And so you need to bounce it to hit the turtles. This one's not too complicated. Uh, there's a second one which I'll be playing after this, which is a bit more difficult. But they're both really cool. Like, it's just smart. Uh, and that's just in case you lose it somehow. You get a key. All of them are variations of bounce off walls to get a key. Uh, this one's quite cool. This is where the stream crashed before. Because uh, you go to this. You gotta run with it, otherwise it despawns. Which is a cool idea. Alright. And this one you need to bounce off the spike. Yeah. Just in case. Oh god, this one. No. Oh, I think I need it again. No, no, that might be the last one. That was the last one. Phew. I could have went real bad. I think I did that the first time. Anyway, that level's pretty cool. Uh, not gonna leave a comment and stuff on it because I did that last time. I can even show you the comment. Look, it's the first one there. I don't think it's the first one to play it. It's just, I don't know what order they put these in. Anyway, good job, Jodal. Uh, I don't remember <laughs> because the stream was two weeks ago. But I'm pretty sure I did an intro to the next level. So, enjoy! So, next up we have Night Golf 2, baby! Superflower Golfing for Koopas! This is a follow up to that previous level. I see just that sounds really reductive. I like that last level. I'm looking forward to playing more Mario Golf. Although, not actually. Because. Nintendo has not yet blessed us with a new Mario Golf game. Okay. Are those Goombas there to like guide you? Okay, no. <laughs> Wait, how are you meant to hit that? Oh, can I do this? Oh, I'm confused by this one already. Well, there's definitely stuff up there for it to bounce off of. Oh, I think it just despawned. That's unfortunate. Oh well, easy enough. Ah! Uh, no, nope, go away. Or do it. One of the two. <laughs> All right. There's some trick shots. Uh, I need jump in here anyway. Oh god. I'm really glad this one isn't icy at least. So far. I'm sure we'll go through a pipe and everything will become slightly and intensely difficult. Oh, this is like before. Oh god. I better not need it again. 
I mean, I'm going to need it again. It's a golf level. But not before another one spawns. Oh no. Is this a secret? I think that was, uh... Oh no. I don't have a flower. I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> So I definitely can't lose that flower in the last one. Oh, unless I'm gonna cheat a golf. Oh no, I'm not, because there's two of them. I'm just gonna die. I can still cheat at a golf. I could have got that star and got down there. But I'm gonna do it the proper way. All right, you guys, dead. And then I'm gonna run up here so I can actually see this. Oh, that was a bad place to throw that. Nope. Nope. I don't think you can despawn these. You just have to wait. Sacrifice them. That's what golf's all about. Sacrifice. Mainly sacrificing turtles. They don't tell you that if you watch golf. Oh god. Oh god. Did it. Alright, didn't even lose it this time. Fully expected to walk into the spikes this time. And be like, hey, you messed that up. That is a good shot. These are some smart level designs for this kind of stuff. I didn't look at the letter that. I think it said R. I think it's means run. I did it! Collect all these coins even though they're useless. That was great. I like that one. I mean, if these are the short... I could probably just go through all of Jody's levels. Hmm. The other two don't sound super long either. So let's just keep going through these. So we have Don't Kill Bill. Use your long jumping and wall kicks and do whatever or and whatever you do. Don't kill Bill. From description on the forum, it seems like this is a level you have to let some bullet bills or bonsai bills destroy blocks to get you through. Which I like as a concept. Okay, so I need to make sure not to kill Bill. Oh, they make it really easy to almost kill Bill though. I think the bell's pretty slow. I love the way the camera goes. Oh my god, I've messed this up. Oh, I've messed this up. Long jump. Oh, I... Long jump was not enough. You lied to me. So many deaths there. Uh, I love the way that... Because the camera now stops... I think I described this in another video. Uh, but the camera now stops when there's a solid wall there. And so if you use something like a bullet bell, or bonsai bell, sorry, to smash something in the wall, the camera just pans over slowly, and it's great. It's very un-Mario. This is long jump. I don't think I need to long jump. Away from here? Oh god, I killed Bell! Oh, it's fine, we're at the end. <laughs> Whew. Oh no! And Bill died. I had no choice but to kill that one. Oh. So these ones respawn. 
but uh, hey buddy, that's a trick shot. Um, the the big ones, the bonsai bells, they don't respawn, except if they're coming towards the screen, which you can do in 3D worlds because it's 3D. Is that a cat one? What's the difference between the cat ones and the regular ones? Other than them looking cute. Oh my god, I don't think I can jump in this one. I need to get another one. Okay, let's lure another one up. Hey, buddy. Come join me. Oh, that was close. Oh, I'm not enthusiastic about this one working. <laughs> when they come out. Oh, that was done. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, no checkpoint. It's fine. It's not that so I can kill the bell. Oh my god, I lost it. On the next one. And it's fine. On the long bell. Oh, you're meant to... Wait, there's a checkpoint there. Did I just miss it? I must have just missed it. Oops. That's my own stupidity then. That's not... That's not level or something. I know what I need to do. I'm being stupid and just ignoring that second block. I need to... Switch the conveyor belts. Because the second one's reversed. I'm just not very smart. And I didn't long jump. It says right there in coins, long jump. And I just regular jumped. I'm Although, to be honest, I think it's actually easier <laughs> to just jump on the spike blocks up there. Because it takes enough time that the bell is almost there anyway. So you don't have to worry about killing it too early. It kind of forces you to be patient. <laughs> that was bad timing. up as well but I know there's a bob bomb here because they have to let you through if you don't have a checkpoint or sorry if you use a checkpoint oh god oh god thanks buddy all right round two these guys are fine and kind of useless but this is neat as a thing to teach you and then, I don't know if this one is intentionally meant to mess you up, but it's kind of funny. And then we have the cat ones, which is where it gets a bit trickier. This is good level design. You introduce the concept, you elaborate on it, and then you do a twist on it. Basic level design. Still can't do this. I messed up. I need that mushroom. Now I just need to do the ball jumping bit perfectly, which is not gonna happen. Come on. Shoot. Oh god. It took a weirdly long time for that to shoot. That's weird. 
I don't know how those are meant to work. The red ones are meant to be faster. How do you do this? Why are these coming out so slow? Ugh. I feel like they weren't coming out that slow last time. Hmm. Oh. Pretty much accidentally. I was. Hey, buddies. Uh. No? This just won't show that way. There's to be certain distance from me. Nope, they just did that time. I feel like these, uh... These launchers are being a bit iffy. <laughs> okay, let's... No. Oh, it's Mar. Yay! That's cool level. I like the use of the bells for destroying stuff. I also like bob bomb levels where you're using bob bombs to break through things. Although, as we found in the early episodes of this show, it can get a bit iffy with how Mario Maker 2 spawns things, if you try to be too elaborate. So yeah, Intergalactic Beaver Butcher. Nothing fancy here except they are hella spaceships containing rocky wrenchers. Gotta take them all out. I'm into that concept. I think once I've done this, because it is almost midnight on a school night. Um, oh, I'm into this. I like this music. Uh, I'll probably do this level, and then one of the ones from I forget the username. I'm really bad at usernames. Oh, I did not want to be there. Uh, the user whose levels I've been working through the last couple of episodes of this. Alright, let's get this. Let's go back and get our helmet. Because you can't be in space without a helmet. You won't be able to breathe. That's just silly. I need to ditch this. Uh, yeah, but the last few... Level uh, episode to this. Keep going. Oh my god. I'm gonna waste this entire time just trying to do this properly. Alright, go with this far to go. The last couple of episodes. I've actually got this and I can go and blow up some ships. I've been trying to work through another post that had a lot of levels, but those levels were all pretty big, so I couldn't really do them all in one episode like this. Oh, that front one's not destructible. Where am I meant to fly to? Who are you not meant to fly? Ooh, this is all lies. Nope, you're definitely meant to fly. Okay. Oh no. That's not what I meant to happen. The ball bombs have gained sentience. I think I'm making this level way harder than it has to be. Can I go further up? There you go. I'm being an idiot. A common theme for this show. Come back and bite me, I'm sure. Ah, uh, yeah, but their levels were harder, so we couldn't do them all in one episode like these. Which is not a bad, it's not disparaging either of these two creators. Hard levels are a choice. There's nothing right or wrong with them. Fire flower. When you get fire flower on one of these, you shoot three instead of one. 
you can get lost. I'll wait here on just dispenser for a new hat. Good old hat dispenser. meant to be killing the moles. It said in the description. I just ignored the thing. I've just been exploring casually this nice space level. I need to kill all these moles. I'm low on time now. Alright, I got nine. Let's see how far towards the end I am. And then I'll go back and actually do this properly and pay attention to the one rule. Oh, I'm so dumb. I spent all that time trying to just get into this stupid thing with a helmet. Didn't even look at the fact that you're meant to murder all these moles. It's literally the name of the level. Alright, I'm just going to die. Alright, so I think you have to kill them all, because 20 is not that many. 20 is not that many, and we killed 9 and go that far, so I think that makes sense. That was a stupid thing to do. Oh god. Well, that bubble one down there is going to be... Problematic. Oh god. Oh god. So many bob -ums. No! Give me back my ship. Oh hey. Maybe not problematic. You guys helped. Alright, I don't think there's any more down there. Let's get out of this bomb hellscape. This is the downside of when you need bob bombs for something. So you need to put them there and you need to have a thing that respawns them, otherwise people can just get soft locked. But then also you <laughs> end up with bob bombs everywhere. Oh god. Of course. This is that. That's a cool effect though. Like that. When you add sound effects. I think some of them have visual effects as well. Like that. I kinda want to test whether this helmet... It does, okay. I was about to say, I want to test if this helmet knocks away those wrenches, but I don't want to... I don't want to Okay, okay, okay. Murder all these goddamn moles. Uh... Oh. <laughs> this mole up here is really wanting to become friends. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. And I don't have my helmet anymore. I don't think this one was meant to be in there. I think he fell into there when I turned the switch off. I can't remember if these two were included in the nine... I don't think they were. I don't think I killed those ones before. Which means... We're good? Oh my god. Oh my god! Stop. Nope. I don't want close enough. You get lost. Give me a new helmet. I think it was from this point onwards that I started actually killing them all. Because I was like, oh, I must be near the end. Oh, whoops, I've messed up. In which case... Four helmets. We should be good. In which case, that means there's a couple of spare ones. Which is good. As my recommendation always, if you're making a level that has a... Like, collect X things, or... Kill X dudes. 
is always make sure there's spares. Unless you're designing like a puzzle level that gives out, you know, red coins or something, or coins in general. Because you need to you need to give people a little bit of leeway. <laughs> oh, I've missed one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm talking nonsense. And in fact, Joe didn't give me any leeway. Oh, no, I just missed this guy. Okay, maybe there is only 20. Still, I recommend adding an extra couple usually. Just to, just if someone misses one or two. Oh no, you saw that, you all saw that, I hit that. Oh, whatever. One-ups are useless. Useless, I tells you. You only need one life. Ignore the fact I died in this level. Um, that was good. I like that. And that's our collection of levels from Jodol. I liked all of them. They were all very smart. These are the kind of levels that make me think I need to make better levels. And next level is Botanophobia. Which is the fear of plants. See? Mario Maker 2 is educational. Or at least Diego's levels are. So far they've taught us that you should be scared of Carmelo's trench mode that people were apparently more scared of the two trials of Ringtail, which is Diego's previous level we played, than they should have been. So I'm not too scared about this clear rate, just because that previous one had like one clear and, or sorry, zero clears, in fact. It had one clear once I was done with it. After this, if I remember, we'll go back and check if anyone else has done it. But that level wasn't that hard. <laughs> Like, I'm not good at Mario. If you've watched any of these videos... Oh, God. Uh, if you've watched any of these videos, you, you could tell I'm not good. Like, I'm not terrible at Mario, but I'm not, you know... I'm not Grand Pooh Bear. I'm not some speedrunner. I'm slowly making it, <laughs> make it through some difficult levels. Like, Patrick Klepik is better than me. In many ways. But especially at Mario. No, I'm not that kind of pro gamer. I really just do these streams and videos because I like Mario Maker a lot. And Mario Maker 2. Oh my god! I knew that was going to be there! There's no logical sense for me to jump to the left there. I love the snow theme. There's a pipe down there. Why is there a pipe down there? That's terrifying. Not the plants. I don't have botanophobia. Is botanophobia a real thing? Are people scared of plants? Oh god. I mean, these plants, sure. I mean, they shoot fireballs. But really, that's a fear of fire. Well, I guess that's being pedantic in the way of saying that people don't have a fear of falling, they have a fear of hitting the ground. It's a very Douglas Adams thing. Or Terry Pratchett. I think Terry Pratchett said that actually. Douglas Adams just said that to fly you just need to fall and miss the ground. Uh, fireballs. Oh my god. This level. Alright, this level might have actually earned its uh, clear count. How are you. <laughs> what are you meant to do there? I mean, I mean, I guess just climb back up. Oh wait, oh wait, there's a secret- oh, no, okay. No, right, Diego. You saw me coming. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god. I just recently made a level. It's not finished. But I feel like when I make levels, I'm always scared of... Of making kind of... 
small areas like this, like tight corridors like that. All of my levels are like this. Like this part of this level, like big wide open jumps and stuff, but... I might change part of my level to be... Not like this. I'm not, I'm not going to put plants everywhere. I'm not going to make this hellscape. But you know, some tighter jumps and stuff. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, got it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Maybe I'm developing a fear of plants. That was just my own fault. That's always. That's the thing you can always be sure of with Mario. Okay, that's a lie, actually. There's a lot of really, you know, evil levels. Go. So far this level seems doable. I think it's hard. Because I keep doing stupid things like that and you can't get hit even once because you're small. Small Mario. S-M-O-L Mario. Alright, for real this thing. I flipped over to avoid the fireball. I'm an idiot. I'm not right. I need to do another death compilation video. It has been... I've done 10 episodes without any. And I died a lot on some of those levels. But it's so time consuming. I really underestimated how long it would take to make a death compilation video for videos that are like an hour long each that I die in a lot <laughs> so it turns out I don't actually have that much time for video stuff but I did enjoy making that so I'll probably make another I have so many other video things to do why am I so impatient on that one? I keep getting hit by it just by running into it. I am doing... I mentioned this in the last video. But I'm doing a review of Kill a Kill if the PS4. Because I didn't get a Switch version. Um, I wanted Switch version, but... You know, when you're a small site... Which I personally am not, but I do occasionally write for one then you take what you get given <laughs> and what I got given was the PS4 one which I'm also happy with and oh my god oh my god and that game's weirdly good like a lot better than I was expecting like, I'll have a full review up probably next week oh what you can dock his small Mario now uh, that's the first time I've seen that used as a mechanic, though. I've yet to see someone do that. Like, make it so you need to dock a small mark. Cute someone, like, pulling a clip from a, you know, previous episode where I had to dock. Oh my god. If you're watching this on YouTube, I am streaming this out at the moment, so I will occasionally talk to- Oh my god! The chat. So, hello Francis. Thank you for finding my channel. I'm kinda just testing some stuff out and recording a thing that's gonna go on YouTube. But hi. Caught me at what I hope is the tail end of this. But 
Oh, who knows? With Diego's levels, this could be ours. Ah! Damn. I just need to be patient. Although, I was too patient there and then those two fireballs hit in a way that I couldn't really dodge them. I hope my controller button presses aren't coming through too much. I did increase the gain of my microphone, so they might be a bit more noticeable than usual. Uh... Nope. Oh. That was, that was a close one. Too close for comfort. Oh my god! I hit that corner. Uh, let's see. That was dumb. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make streaming these out like a regular thing. Just because I think a lot of my like viewers on YouTube are from America and getting time zones matching up is a pain. Because in case you cannot tell from my fabulous accent, I am not American. I'm Scottish. Although I don't have the strongest Scottish accent. Oh god! Maybe that's all I need to do, I just need to drop. There you go. Ducked. I don't think I need to duck that one. No! Wait, what? Oh, there must be a whole thing down there. Oh, this level's so long. Diego, you monster. We're making progress though. That's the important thing. It only gets demoralizing when you stop making progress. No, doing this again. Oh god, that was cutting that one close. I'm not gonna actually brave it and just drop here. Although I think I could. Okay, so the on off switch is there. Oh my god! So I need to go down and round, and there's another little gauntlet under there. Oh god, and you get what looks like a key, which will open that, I think. Hopefully not as like a jokey, ha ha ha. Oh, I'll Ah! That was just nonsense. I'd like to blame RNG, but honestly, they're pretty predictable. I'm just bad. Thank you. 
this and this and this. Oh, no, no, no. Just keep going. Ah, I should have just kept going. I hesitated. The opposite of my usual issue. Usually, I mess up because I've, like, been too impatient. And this time I was too patient. Not making as much progress anymore. So we're slowly getting this bit down at least. Oh my god. Always scary when you almost hit the flower. Okay, so that bit's actually not that bad if you just keep going. That's the thing is I keep... Sometimes you need to stop for that first flower. But once you're down, you can just keep going. Like that second one is pretty straightforward. That's... Any hit it, any jump off before it bounces. Keep going, keep going. Right. Easy. Don't hit this corner. Oh, I did worse. I overshot it. <sighs> this level. It's good. As always, I don't want to, you know, make it sound like the level's bad. I'm just bad at it. But I am liking the level itself. Like I was saying, I'm not good at this game. Oh. Oh. Oh! I switched too early. Did I do that? I need to not stop. I need to just go. Oh man, and I can't even run in a door. Oh my god. And to like make sure that everyone knows that's fully my fault. Yay! Checkpoint! Uh, this, even though it's snowy, this isn't slippery. It's only slippery at night, which is, I mean, a weird sentence to say. That's my. Oh, there's a timer on this one. Because you need to get up here before the plant comes up. That's pretty good. I didn't even notice that. That would have been good for someone more perceptive than me. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Uh... Okay, cool. This bit's not as hard as the previous bit I see as I die again. <sighs> Oh, 
I did my video of the first one of Diego's levels. I did a jokey thing where I cut to the SpongeBob SquarePants two hours later thing. Oh my god. I need to, I keep forgetting about that jump. But what I want to get across is that that wasn't a joke. I legitimately sat there for two hours after I stopped recording to finish that level. It was harder than this though. Well, it wasn't like harder from a level design standpoint. Like, no offense to Diego, because it was a good level. Um, it was harder because the hitboxes on those little spikies are tough. They're real tough. Okay. Okay. Did we do it? Oh god. Oh god. We didn't do it. Dig. We didn't. Get my hopes up. Oh my god. That was just silly. Okay. Shoot your goddamn fireballs. I'm not afraid of you. Well, I should be. <sighs> Demoralizing. I don't think that last section's even that hard. I think if you just run through it, you could do it. But it's that thing where I hesitated because I didn't know what was going on. But I think it's meant to be a jokey, like, you run through it and nothing happens. But I was too slow and so the fireball hit me. That's how I broke the joke. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. That was a scary jump. This time, we go up here, we go through the door, let's just sprint. Hope for the best. Oh god, I ducked. Which seemed to help. Hit this. Um, there was a pipe back there. I'm gonna go. Oh no! Oh, the pipe releases the hat. That was stupid. Okay. Don't go back. Keep going forward. Don't. Don't do silly things. So, I've died a few times in this section, but I don't think it's that hard. It's just a little bit fiddly. That first section was definitely harder. Ah, That's just fiddly. I just dislike that. <laughs> that's just preying on impatient people like me that are just like, I'm gonna jump. Oh my god, that I should have died there. That's... It's like the game giving me like a free pass because of the amount of times I've died on this, these stupid goddamn hanging plants. Alright. Run and duck. And if we just keep running we should be fine. But we do need to jump. At some point. Oh, I've not seen that one fire upwards before. Shot me in midair. Oh god, that should have killed me. That was luck. And that was bad luck. Literally like a pixel to the right and I would have survived that. I will do one more level after this, I think. Even though it's getting late. Because I'm good like that. Let's see. I need to reward people for watching me die a billion times at this level.
Okay. I keep saying that section's not that hard, but I also feel like I've accomplished something major every time I actually survive it. Just because I've died so many silly ways. Okay, run, run, run. Jump this time. Let's do this, let's go down here. No. Oh, I just need to wait for it to come down. I'm stupid. So I do need to go back and go in that pipe. But I need to wait for the big piranha plant to go down. That's entirely my fault. Impatience again. I think I've got this. I think I've got this done. It was cruel putting that pipe, uh, that pet there. So it made it look like you, you know. Okay, so it does start. I've never noticed that before. And I got lucky dodging all those fire, but not that one though. Oh my god. This time. I brought it down. I brought this down. I don't know how to do this. It's just executing on this and not messing up in a silly way at the end. I should have finished this level like three times over. But silliness at the end of me not getting... I mean, I say finished. It's entirely possible there's something else there. I mean, there must be something else there because this is the overworld. So the pipe must take you somewhere else. So if I wait a second then go, I think I can just run... I sit here and just wait and say goodbye to this guy. Bye, buddy. I was trying to do this without that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! Run! No! So close! That was silly. This is all, these are silly jumps. This is me dying in silly ways. Okay. None of that felt good. This time though. There's only like three piranha plants that can actually hurt you in that bit. It just looks scarier than it is. I don't think they even really overlap much. They're like this, they're like this distance. So if I just actually go through it patiently, I can't really get hurt. I'm just... It's successfully scary, which I think is the point of the level. Oh, like I... As I'm saying that, I almost run into a fireball. Okay, let's wait here. Let's check my emails. Ah, good. Emails. Oh, I love me some emails. Right. Jump back. Ignore this guy. Ignore this guy. Freedom. I see freedom. It's taking me underground. There has to be... Oh! I went up. I didn't think you guys should be able to get there. And then we leave this house. Oh, please be the end of the level. Yay! <laughs> oh, you monster! One mushroom in the whole level, and it's at the end. Diego, you have a cruel sense of humor. But you make damn good levels. Better with the checkpoint. Oh, was there a version of this level without a checkpoint at one point? Uh, let's do... beat it. Because I'm proud that I beat him. Alright. And quickly before I go into the next level. I want to check if anyone else has beat. Diego's. Well not Diego's last level. But the last level we played. Which was this one. Clear right. 
one. Okay, <laughs> nope, still me. People should play this level. It's a fun level. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's difficult, but it's not like it's not as hard as the one I just beat, which has more completions. Um, but for some reason, this has like one clear, which is me, and I don't deserve it. Sub-Saharan vacation. So desert theme, I guess. Oh, and Mario 3. Two things I love. Alright. Oh god. Nope. I've developed a fear of plants. As Diego wanted. So I think this is uh, one of the secret ones. I'm glad this way though. <laughs> I don't know if that was the intended way to do that. Oh god. Oh, I want this. Oh jeez. You really pick up momentum there. Uh, yeah, I think I came in this the opposite way from what you're meant to do. Sorry if I instantly broke your level, Francis. These arrows are going the opposite way. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in the order it suggests rather than just hopping around. It says semi-linear. So I have made it non-linear for myself. This is cool though. Is this... I need to switch back actually. Okay, so it's just like a dark version of this, but it's kind of not. It's like you're, it's like you're going down the tower. It's good theming. Um, does this respawn? No. I wonder if I needed that power block. I hope not. Oh god. So there must be an on-off switch somewhere. Because we've seen multiple on-off things. There's a spring. I didn't need that. Oh no. I mean, that would be fine. I think the intention is. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Please have another mushroom. Please just stack mushrooms. I already knew it didn't. I knew it didn't. Ah! Oh my god, these breezes. Well, that's the end of Mario. Okay, it's not, thankfully. I need to just wait for this to go. And I just need to wait for the next one to pass. Because I can't. I can't do it. I'm too bad at this game to properly do these. Oh my god. I mean, whatever. I can jump up here. I'm making this more complicated for myself than I need to. I don't need to do that at all. I don't need to do any of that. I was making it harder for myself than the level needs to be. Oh. This level's good so far, though. I am enjoying it. So what happens if we just keep going this way, then? There's a way up. That's neat. So I guess this stuff's optional that I'm doing under here. That's why it's semi-linear. I do kind of want to see this stuff, because it's cool. Use the trampoline to jump on the bomb. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Oh, well. Switch power ups. I want this. Give me more power ups. Ah, uh, this is probably for something. I'm gonna run over here and kill things. There might just be a secret. No point, this level's just secrets. Hey, buddies. You guys scare me, so I'm going back to finish the underground bit I was doing. Right, let's get back here. Boom. Oh, goddammit. 
by bomb do you mean these cannons? Because you can actually skip this. Because you can just do this. The cannons don't seem... Oh god. You go away. Uh, actually, I need you. Is that gone? Yeah. Oh hey! You aren't kidding about seekers everywhere. Nice gap there. Let's take the trampoline. I don't know if that's necessarily what it's for, but it's how I'm going to use it. Give me a trampoline. Man, that's good, was it? Oh, whoops. I pressed down to drop the, the trampoline. But of course, pipes. Oh right, I have fire now. I'm an idiot. I'm not the brightest. Okay. Look at that. Oh, well, let's just keep going. That's fine. Awesome level. I agree. Ah, so there's bombs. Neat. I was just saying how much I enjoy this kind of thing. Ah, oh, damn it. I left that because I thought it might be another mushroom. I'm definitely gonna die. Oh god, no, it's the wrong type of mushroom. No! No. No, oh, I need to. This is it. Oh, I should have kept that. <sighs> so there's a key somewhere. But probably... Oops, that was stupid. Probably from defeating Bowser Jr. Oh god, these, these goddamn desert breezes. I already live in Scotland. I'm already annoyed by high winds all the time. That was stupid. That was me being stupid. Yep. That's fine. You may realise taking time is not really what I'm good at. Oh. <laughs> no! Freezes. All right. Just be patient. Survive. Get past all these guys. Give me my mushroom. Uh, that comment's right. This is an awesome level. I'm not just saying that. Also get lost. But I'd rather not risk this mushroom when doing so. No! Well, I risked it there. Let's just make a runner for it. Oh, God. Let's just fight Bowser Jr. with no mushrooms. And a breeze! Oh, God. Bring it! All right, took him out like a pro. Hey, that's the switch. And the, uh, the, 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 I was gonna call it feather, but leaf. Okay, so we're up here. I know where this goes. Can I go this way? Oh, I could, but I messed up. Let's go take out these hammer bros. Can I get them in time? Oh god. I can just fly over actually. Oh no, I can't. Now. You guys die. More checkpoints! Ah! My tail. You defurried Mario. Can you. 
Oh, you can totally shoot fireballs off these. Um, yeah. Let's see what's through here. Yeah, alright. I'll always go in mystery pipes. I hope I didn't need that. Hey, I found the big small land. It's a real shame that you can't do big blocks. Or pipes. I would like to be able to actually make a, a big small land. Is it called Big Small? I forget. Oh my god. <sighs> I need to not die here. I want this fireplace. Because I knew that's what it would be. That or a leaf. Because this level's good about secrets. And right at the end of the level, <laughs> as you can see from the background change. Uh, right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, sure, I'll take the leaf. No! No, my leaf! Leaf, buddy. Okay, well. I hope I don't need it. I hope I can live with the fire flower. Yay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. You guys die. Ah! You monsters. I don't remember you guys being here last time. Did I go down this one? I don't think I did. Because I went through the door last time, I think. Yeah, I definitely did this. Because I would still have this shoe. I'm probably not giving out a plane. See? Instantly lost it. Instantly proved myself wrong. Lots of extra life in this as well. This would be good if it showed up in your endless challenge because there's a lot of extra life if you just sit and look for them. Oh. Oh, I'm back here again. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. I think I've seen all this stuff. Oh god, oh god. Perfect jumping. And we did it! I'm sure I probably missed some stuff. There seems like there's a lot of stuff on that level. It was really good though. <laughs> and if you just run to the end, it's 23 seconds long. Not seven minutes. Beat it. Uh, oops. Yeah, I like that one. I like the kind of exploratory stages. They're real cool. 